I'm Asla Mullah and I am a registered attorney and in today's video we're going to be covering what are the three legal grounds to get a divorce in South Africa. We're going to go through each ground in detail and what you need to prove in order to successfully get your divorce. So let's get started with it. There are three legal grounds in South Africa to get your divorce. The first one is mental illness of your spouse. And a lot of people are going to be saying, yes, Aslam, that's the one, that's the ground we need to prove. My partner is insane and I want a divorce. It is a bit different from what you think it is. And the second is continuous unconsciousness of your partner. And the last is irretrievable breakdown of the marriage. Let's look at each of these three grounds in a bit more detail so that we can understand it. The most common from the three is irretrievable breakdown of the marriage. This is, I would say, maybe about 95% of divorces in South Africa are caused by irretrievable breakdown of the marriage. That's the most commonly used ground. What do I mean by that and this particular ground, irretrievable breakdown? Remember, there's three grounds, mental illness, continuous unconsciousness, an irretrievable breakdown. We're talking about irretrievable breakdown. Under irretrievable breakdown, South Africa has a no-fault divorce system. This means that a person can file for divorce without having to prove that the other person, which is the spouse, did something wrong. For example, if they cheated or whatever it is, there's no fault that's required for you to get a divorce in South Africa. You don't have to prove anything. All you have to do is show the judge that there is no reasonable prospect of your relationship continuing. The legal term for this is called irretrievable breakdown of the marriage. Examples of what are irretrievable breakdown of the marriage, emotional abuse, physical abuse, verbal abuse if the other partner has an addiction problem like drugs, alcohol or gambling, um, if the parties are no longer in love with each other. These are commonly used examples for getting your divorce in terms of irretrievable breakdown. It doesn't mean that you must now prove to the court that your partner actually has an addiction problem. If you have reasonable belief that they do have that and you believe that the relationship cannot continue, you genuinely believe that and that divorce is the only option left, then you can rely on this ground of irretrievable breakdown. It can also be a lack of communication between husband and wife or you're no longer staying together and there's no longer love. So the most in summary, with regard to this ground of irretrievable breakdown, it is the most commonly used ground. It doesn't require any fault from the other party. And you just believe that there's just no hope of the relationship continuing. Let's look at the other two grounds, which was mental illness and continuous unconsciousness. With regard to mental illness, you have to, if you're going to rely on this ground of mental illness, then you must show that your partner was officially admitted into a mental institution and that they have been mentally ill for quite a long period of time. You also need evidence to show, maybe from two psychiatrists who can tell the court that your partner is officially insane or not well or they're not capable of making proper decisions. It is a very high hurdle to overcome. That's why I don't advise my clients to take that route. You'd rather take the route of irretrievable breakdown of the marriage. The other one is continuous unconsciousness. That was the other legal ground. You will have to also prove here that your partner has been unconscious for a period of at least six months and medical evidence from two doctors must show that there's no reasonable prospect of your partner regaining consciousness. As you can see, mental illness and continuous unconsciousness have specific hurdles that need to be overcome. Whereas the ground of irretrievable breakdown, no fault is required, no real proof is required. All you have to do is show 
the re relationship has no prospect of continuing. It's just broken down completely. So, the key takeaway from this video is in South Africa, we have a no-fault based system. You can get a divorce without having to prove the other party has done something wrong. You can get a divorce on the basis of irretrievable breakdown of the marriage relationship where you believe there's no hope of the relationship continuing. To actually get your divorce, it's best that you go to the regional magistrate's court. It's a much more faster process than the high court. We've done a video on which court to go. Please check our YouTube channel for a video on that. If you need legal, if you need help with the legal paperwork or just advice on the divorce process, you're more than welcome to click the link below and book an appointment with our office. I wish you all the best and I'll speak to you soon.